Hi, this is Bruno. Thank you for listening to the songs in my channel. This LP vinyl is Beethoven, Symphony No. 2 in D major, OP No. 36, the first and the second movement. Ernest Ansermé conducted, L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande performed. And this vinyl was released on the London Records label in 1969. And the condition of the vinyl is very good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with Node Monday Phono Super 59Z Vintage Tube Turntable made in West Germany in 1959 and still it is working beautifully. And this is a tube turntable, so there are six vacuum tubes inside, vi inside this vintage machine. And now, let me show you the actual LP vinyl jacket. So this is Beethoven, Symphony No. 2. And as I told you, Ernest Ansermet conducted and L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande performed. And let me show you the back of the LP vinyl jacket. So, in the side one, the first and second movements you can listen to. And at the back side B, you can listen to the third and fourth movement. And also, Leonor Overture number 2, opinion number 72, is in the side B as well. And also, let me show you the actual LP vinyl label. So, as you can see, this is London Records Stereo Treasury Series label. And Beethoven Symphony No. 2 in D major, OP No. 36. And now, I hope to tell you about Beethoven Symphony No. 2. Beethoven Symphony No. 2 in D major, OP No. 36, is a symphony in four movements. It was written between 1801 and 1802 and is dedicated to Karl Alois, Prince Lichnowsky. The first movement, Adagio Molto, Allegro con brio is in sonata form. It begins with a slow introduction in the minor key, which then leads to a lively allegro in the major key. The second movement, Larghetto, is a A-flat major and is a lyrical and slow movement. The third movement, Scherzo, Allegro, is in the traditional Scherzo trio form, and it is a lively and playful movement. The fourth movement, Finale, Allegro Molto, is in sonata form, and is a triumphant and energetic movement. The symphony is scored for the, the typical orchestra of the time, which includes strings, woodwinds, brass, and timpani. It is a relatively short symphony with a typical performance lasting about 30 to 37 minutes. The symphony number no. 2 is considered to be one of the Beethoven's early masterpieces and it is a well-crafted and balanced work that shows Beethoven's growing mastery of the symphony form. The symphony is often performed today and is considered to be one of the Beethoven's most popular symphonies. And here are some of the notable features of the symphony. The use of contrasting keys in the first movement, which creates a sense of drama and excitement. And the lyrical and slow second movement, which provides a contrast to the more energetic movements. The playful and energetic third movement, 
which is a traditional scherzo trio form, and the triumphant and energetic fourth movement, which ends the symphony on a high note. So the symphony number two is a beautiful and well-crafted work that is a must-listen for any fan of Beethoven's music. And now, I have to tell you about the, about the conductor, Ernest Anselme. Ernest Anselme was born in 1883 and died in 1969, and he was a Swiss conductor. He was born in Vevey, Switzerland, and studied music in Geneva and Bachy. He made his conducting debut in 1905, and in 1915 he founded the L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande, which he held for 54 years. Anselme was a champion of new music, and he conducted the premieres of many works by Stravinsky, Debussy, Ravel, and other composers. He was also a skilled interpreter of the classical repertoire, and he made many recordings of works by Mozart, Beethoven, Brahms, and others. Ansahmed was a charismatic and influential conductor, and he was known for his clear and precise style. He was also a gifted educator, and he wrote several books on music, and including Ecrit sur la musique. Ansahmed was awarded the Légion d'Honneur in 1955, and he was made a Commander de, de Art et de Lecture in 1963. And he died in Geneva in 1969. Here are some of his most notable achievements. He founded the L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande in 1915. And actually, he conducted the premieres of many works by Stravinsky, Debussy Ravel, and made many recordings like Mozart, Beethoven, Brahms, and others. Uh, Ansel Ahmed was a significant figure in the history of music, and his legacy continues to inspire conductors and musicians today. And now, I hope to show you, actually, I hope to tell you about the L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande. L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande is a Swiss orchestra based in Genève. It was founded in 1918 by Ernest Ansermet and is one of the most important orchestras in Switzerland. L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande has performed all over the world and has recorded a large repertoire of classical music. The current music director of the L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande is Jonathan Knott. L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande is known for its high level of music, actually musicianship and its commitment to contemporary music. The orchestra has commissioned and premiered works by many important composers, including Igor Stravinsky, Bela Bartok, and Luciano Berrio. L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande also has a strong commitment to education and outreach. The orchestra offers a variety of educational programs for children and adults, and it performs regularly in schools and community centers. L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romande is a major cultural institution in Switzerland and plays an important role in the country's musician life, musical life, actually. The orchestra is a source of pride for the people of Geneva and Switzerland, and, and it is known for its excellence and its commitment to making classical music accessible to everyone. And here are some of the additional facts about the orchestra. 
the orchestra has performed at the Proms in London, at the Salzburg Festival, and Tanglewood Festival. And the orchestra has recorded over 200 albums, which has been released by major labels such as Decca, EMI, and Philips. The orchestra has won numerous awards, including the Grammy Award for Best Classical Album in, in 2007 for its recording of Stravinsky's The Firebird. The orchestra is a member of the European Concert Hall Orchestra Association. And this orchestra's home is in Victoria Hall in Geneva. So, the L'Orchestre de la Suisse Commande is a world-renowned orchestra that is known for its high level of music musicianship and its commitment to the uh, contemporary music. The orchestra has performed all over the world and has recorded a large repertoire of classical music, and this orchestra is a major cultural institution in Switzerland and plays an important role in the country's musical life. So thank you for listening to the song and my brief review about this LP vinyl itself and Beethoven Symphony Number no. 2 and the conductor Ernest Ansermat and the orchestra L'Orchestre de la Suisse Romand. I hope you had a pleasant time. Thank you for listening once again and see you next time. Bye.